Hello everyone, welcome to Big Data Thoughts. Today we are going to talk about a very important and interesting topic which is stream processing. We'll look at what stream processing is, what are the different technologies that can be used, what are the different use cases, how batch versus streaming, how are they different. So let's get started. So first of all, what is streaming data? Usually people think that data coming in from social media or these kind of channels is the streaming data. So yes, that is correct. But streaming data can come from many other um, channels, not just social media. So what is streaming data? Streaming data is a data that is generated continuously by thousands of data store sources, which typically send the data records simultaneously. Now it can be thousands of sources, it can be few sources, but essential thing to remember is that streaming data is something which is continuously getting generated and needs to be consumed. So the size of the data that is coming through is very small. It can be in KBs, etc. But the rate at which the velocity at which it comes is uh, very, very uh, real time. Okay, now stream processing, we are concerned with the processing of data as it arrives to the system, which means it is absolutely in real time or near real time. The moment it arrives, we need to capture it, process it and draw some insight out of it. So that is streaming data where it is continuously coming in small sizes, absolutely in real time. What is stream processing? Now we, we um, spoke about what is actually a data, which is a streaming data. Now, what does stream processing mean? Stream processing means a program uh, that can assume that there is going to be a sequence of signals of indefinite length, which will be observed over a time, which means that when we are handling or dealing with stream uh, streaming kind of data, what we need to assume is that it will continuously be coming in. It can be an indefinite length, not necessary that we'll get only X amount of data. It can be X, X plus delta, X plus two delta. It can be any amount, but usually it is small chunks of data that is coming on continuously in a period of time. So that is the stream uh, data, streaming data and our program that needs to handle this kind of data or do the stream processing has to assume that it will come continuously and in small chunks. Examples. What are the examples of uh, data which is of this nature of uh, coming in as a stream? It can be log files. It can be e-commerce purchases So all over the world. Let's say people are buying things on Amazon and Amazon is capturing each and every transact transaction that is happening, each and every click that a person is doing. So it's absolutely in real time and coming in con continuously. It can be those purchases. It can be in game player activity. Somebody who's playing game, of course, it is really at a very high speed. Information from social networks. It can be financial trading flows because trade un, uh, whenever the trading window is open, people are doing trades, buying, selling, and that is absolutely in real time. Geospatial services. So we may be capturing uh, events or data from geospatial services. Telemetry. So these days IOT or internet of things is very, very prominent. There are devices which have sensors in them, which can send data. Even the smart watches we wear, the smart devices which can uh, send data. So all of this telemetry that we are collecting from these connected devices or IoT devices is also a form of stream processing. Instrumentation data, which means the machines are sending data in the data centers. And we look at use cases. Why uh, are we collecting this data or how does it help? But these are some of the examples to explain what is stream processing or what kind of data would fall into this category. Now, one more very important thing to know, and often there is a confusion between how batch versus streaming is different. So we have been doing ETLs and ELTs for a long time, but those are all batch, right? A typical ELT or ETL is a batch where we are pulling in data from files. We are pulling in data from databases or anywhere, but the quantity of data or the volume of data is huge, but it is coming at a scheduled timeline or even if it is coming ad hoc, it is not really real time in small packets. It's a batch kind of a thing. So 
difference between batch and streaming is in a batch processing environment we will see huge chunks of data or large batches of data versus in streaming we will really see very small micro batches the time to ingest and process the data in batch processing is from minutes to hours depending on the complexity of the processing depending on the amount of data but whenever we are talking about streaming data it will be in seconds or milliseconds so that's the difference in velocity the typically the batch uh, processing would involve complex analysis and the streaming would involve actually simple aggregations or rolling metrics why because we have to be very quick in calculations as the data is continuously coming and the purpose is to give insights earlier so usually it is something where we are doing aggregations rolling matrices etc and of course one of the very evident differences is in batch it is a bounded data like and in streaming it is unbounded which means the definition that we saw during stream processing the program assumes that it will be a continuous stream of indefinite length so batch versus streaming is bounded versus unbounded in a nutshell these are the four very salient differences between batch versus streaming now to make it more clear let's look at what are the streaming solutions available and the use cases so streaming solutions means technologies that can help you to ingest and process streaming data so if we look at uh, amazon there are um, services like amazon kinesis data firehose amazon kinesis data streams so kinesis is one of the um, ways to ingest and process streaming data so these are the two services plus kafka kafka is a very very um, prominent technology used to manage streaming data spark also has spark streaming so amazon msk there is a offering by amazon which is a managed streaming service which is using kafka on the azure side we have event hubs we have stream analytics so these are the very prominent ones used in the market but essentially spark streaming and kafka open source kafka like uh, apache kafka can also be used now let us look at few use cases to understand what is the applicability of stream processing or streaming data first of all one of the very important and very widely used use cases device monitoring as i said we are living in a world of big data in a world where we are utilizing cloud to the fullest so we do have devices these days whether it is our smart watches whether it is home appliances or anything which have um capability of sending data they have sensors so these are iot or internet of thing devices these can monitor and can collect process and store data for millions of devices so we may have millions of devices spread across which can send data and that will be a, of course a streaming data in real time they are sending data and we can collect that data use it to do some analytics one of the example can be if there is a camera which is capturing video the moment there is a uh, movement it can capture and send the data and some analytics can be done to identify or prevent theft maybe so device monitoring is one of the very important use cases other is fault detection now this is also related to devices where let's say we are talking about uh very expensive devices marine devices which are extracting oil or there are certain devices which are very expensive we want to monitor them and preempt the failures so these devices will send data like temperature pressure and all of that and we can easily detect variations and proactively uh, do fault detection we can use this is a time series analysis basically where you are dating sending data over a period of time continuously and potential failures can be detected to take corrective measures so that is one of the other use cases the third one is fleet management now fleet management can report real time data from vehicles now these vehicles have sensors which are sending data about location some parameters of the vehicle fuel levels etc so it has lot of benefits of course you can monitor that vehicle to see if there is going to be a fault you can also analyze driver behavior about speed limits about braking rules how are they actually using that vehicle 
so insurance companies these days do this kind of analytics to think about what should be the insurance premium charged to the driver based on the driver behavior analysis there can be n number of interesting analytics that we can do but essentially this is a stream processing use case of doing fleet management media recommendations now we use uh, netflix we use amazon prime all of them have recommendation systems which give us videos um, that are available in their catalog based on our choices so these are also streaming data examples some choices can be calculated based on our past viewings but essentially when we are watching something immediately at the run time there are recommendations coming up so that's also an example of uh, streaming data so these were all the examples and i tried to cover stream processing in a nutshell uh, to give an idea of what it is i hope this will help you to get started on your journey of stream processing going forward we will look into details of how do we use one of the technologies to actually do a use case so i hope this has helped you please like share and subscribe to the channel and keep watching thank you so much